You know, Oscar Isaac is really just shooting up my favorite actors list. I mean, he's just rocketing up there, probably right in between like the kissing booth boys. So yeah, I watched the card counter last night. I was lucky enough to get a screening early in a theater and I liked it. I didn't exactly know what people would think about the movie. Obviously it did premiere at Venice because one, I was really excited for the card counter. I loved First Reformed. I thought that was awesome. Some of his other movies, obviously, he's a legendary writer, whatever, whatever. And then the trailer came out, and it looked kind of mid, skewing bad, kind of. I didn't hate it as much as a lot of other people did, but a lot of people really did not like the trailer. And then people are like, oh my gosh, the card counter is going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Paul Schrader needs to be quiet, whatever, whatever. Then it premiered at Venice. Pretty good reviews. Pretty good. Still some mix. So... Really, it seemed like just a divisive movie. And whenever I hear that, usually I get excited for it. So I was very interested to watch it. And like I said, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. There's a couple things that kind of hold me back from completely loving it. But overall, I definitely like it. No spoilers in this review. The main thing that I really liked about it, besides Oscar Isaac, who is amazing, is weirdly enough, it is just the whole vibe. The whole tone of it is just cool, right? And it makes sense because you look at Oscar Isaac and you're just like, that's one of the coolest dudes I've ever seen in my life. But the whole tone of it is pretty cool. The score, if you could even call it that, I guess it is, has some like heavy breathing in it. And for some reason, that might sound weird, but it kind of works. And since it's Paul Schrader, you know, obviously did First Reformed, wrote Taxi Driver, wrote Raging Bull, you kind of go in expecting, or at least I did, for Oscar Isaac, the main character study for it, to start here and then eventually end up somewhere else, right? So this whole time, you're just kind of feeling that it's building towards something. And that build, to me, was pretty great. There are some spots where, in my head, I was thinking, where is this kind of going? Like, maybe let's, let's kind of pick it up a little bit because, let's face it, and there's even a scene where someone says something like that, it gets a little repetitive, right? He goes, he plays blackjack, he plays poker, and he's kind of just playing poker, right? But throughout those, there's these little seeds of who he is and what he's been through especially. And that alone was enough to kind of to hold me through it because this is a very patient movie. And that can be said the same for First Reformed. And I am lucky that I saw it in a theater because in a theater, my patience can go very, can stretch very far right? I'm very patient in a theater. If I watch this film at home on my TV there, my patience is less. And I don't know if that would benefit the movie. Because if my patience starts running out a little bit at home, chances are I'm not going to enjoy it as much versus when I'm locked in in a theater and my patience can just go on forever. So that is one thing to note because I know some people got like digital screeners. I'm actually kind of glad I, I did see in a theater. Maybe that's affecting my feeling towards it but whatever and yes i don't need to talk too much about it but oscar isaac is great okay like i said he's slowly becoming just one of my favorite actors by the end of this year fucking who knows bro he got this he got dune scenes from a marriage excited for all three of those to varying degrees he's having a great year he's having a great 2021 i wish i could say the same and it is a more restrained performance as you would expect, but with moments that he cracks just a little bit, a little bit, and you can, when you see kind of who he is, what he's been through, that shit, that is nice. This is an excellent performance from Oscar Isaac. One of the best looking, or I mean best acting, actually both, yeah. Now, Tiffany Haddish and Ty Sheridan, I gotta be honest, I'm still wondering in my head if they worked. I, I really don't know. I, I think they're okay. I think they're okay in their roles. It is nice to see Tiffany Haddish get something that isn't just a comedic side part. So that is nice. And I, you know, I encourage more of that. I just, I don't, I'm not fully there yet. Maybe I will come around to it. So what are my flaws with it? So as I said, it is a very patient movie and there are some parts where I'm kind of like, all right, I'm, it really just like hit me where I'm like, okay, where is this actually like going to? Where am I leading? But it kind of brings you back and then maybe you'll feel that moment again and it brings you back. But to me, the biggest flaw in this was the payoff. As I said, I really enjoyed the buildup towards everything, even with moments that may drag here or there. I enjoyed the setup. I enjoyed the buildup. And then the payoff, to me, wasn't that great. It wasn't really worth it, in my opinion. It's, it's very quick. It doesn't really show much. And then it's kind of done. That, that kind of bums me out. 
because I think it was doing such a good job building everything towards a moment and then it's it kind of is just not it's not there it's not there and that really sucks that was kind of a punch in the gut not in an emotional way but in an i was kind of loving everything and then that happened and now i'm kind of bummed out that to me is just the biggest flaw maybe you feel differently or i know already some people that i know who watch it already just straight up don't like this movie which is fine i can see why i really enjoyed it but that ending and the payoff pretty disappointing besides that it's weird the i think it's shot well but it's shot flat the lighting is just it looks like fucking my video right here it's just and you can kind of see that in the trailer it's just flat i don't know if it's the lighting or the color grading or if that's just what they were going for but it's, it's i don't know it just doesn't really look good to me it just looks kind of flat but really besides that 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 payoff is a real bummer to me <laughs> it's a real bummer but yeah i don't need to i don't want to spend too much time on this here and you know, I, I'm sure some people are wondering about Oscars. Uh, it doesn't seem like Focus is focusing on, on this film. And maybe they shouldn't. Um, I know Paul Schrader got a nomination for First Reformed. This isn't as good as First Reformed overall or any, even in my just one opinion. So I doubt it's really anything. Oscar Isaac is really good. But if they didn't go for Ethan Hawke, they're definitely not going for Oscar Isaac here. So it's probably a zero in terms of nominations. But, like, who cares? Some films, who cares about Oscars? Seriously. Some I do. Some, not so much though. So I know I talked up the card counter at least what feels like a lot to me. Maybe it doesn't. But uh, I'm, I'm going to give it three and a half stars. It's real close between that and four. Real close. If it nailed that ending a little bit better, easy four. For me, three and a half, which is still pretty good in my opinion. So that's the card counter. You guys should definitely check it out when it comes out in theaters, which this video should be out when it opens anyway. So I guess that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.